Um, uh, let's just get right into it. I hope that you're all doing well. Um, anything else? Yeah, let's see what Spirit has. Take what resonates, leave the rest. All right, Taurus. Okay, Taurus. You have favor over your life. Came out first. You need something new for you. Came out next. Spiritually protected. Stop and think. And we also have Scorpio energy, which reminds me of the death card for some reason. So, Taurus. There's a situation here that you definitely have favor in, all right? Something is going to work out for you, or you're just being spiritually led, guided, and protected throughout it. There's also an energy here of being patient or, you know, being encouraged to stop and think. But it could be, does that, like, searching for something new, or you've been thinking about something new, doing something new, starting something new, who knows? And then there could be Scorpio involved, or you could have that in your chart. But time for something new, and you got favor over whatever direction we are headed in, Taurus. What do you have for Taurus? Yeah. Taurus, I'm seeing here that you could be taking a step back. You're, you're slowing down. You're slowing down with something, I want to say. Um, because of some sort of healing that's taking place or maybe just resting, right? Resting from a situation that was, you know, difficult or dramatic or I don't know. But something, you've found some sort of peace or clarity within that situation because with the Ace of Swords and the Sun, I'm seeing somebody with a clear vision, clear mind. They know where to go, what to do, what to get rid of in order to heal. So you could be cutting something out or uh, away from your life in order to get to this success. Starting to embrace or embody um, an energy of joy after whatever you get rid of. Yeah, there's a new opportunity here, a new new something, new job, new career, new, new environment, new situation that is... <laughs> Offering a lot of prosperity and Taurus, what I'm also seeing here is the chariot card. So you're heading in a new direction. You're heading towards peace. You're heading on a path of success. And you're also in this process of tempering your energy or really just needing more balance, moderation. You know what I mean? Something could be out of balance. Page of Cups, Seven of Cups, there's a yeah, energy here of something not changing, something not feeling good because it's not changing, but I'm also seeing a de detaching from this energy, detaching from some stagnant or just kind of unfulfilling type of energy, you know, you're walking away, <clears throat> the Eight of Cups tends to walk away towards the Nine of Cups, <laughs> and so you're walking away from what no longer serves you. Right, what you're emotionally no longer connected to, and this does not seem to be an easy or it just seems to be persistently, it was not easy to walk away from, right? And what I'm seeing here is that there's some sort of opportunity, whatever, whatever you walk towards, towards it does feel a lot better to you, especially emotionally. Because with the Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, this is a new relationship, a new connection. This is like a, um, this is kind of like the optimal type of like fresh relation. I don't know. It feels like a new love that's almost like honeymoon phase. You know what I mean? It feels like a very romantic or very, very deep connection that's connected to your hopes or your sense of belonging, your sense of whatever your heart really desires. You know what I mean? That's what this feels like. So you're walking towards your heart's desires and it could be 
another involved, but it also could just be you finally choosing you, right? Ace of Cups, you choosing you with your your heart's desires, taking care of you and your, you know, your future, I guess. Ace to the 10. You're showing up for you or someone else is showing up and it's just making you feel good. But Taurus, I'm also seeing an energy here of untapped potential, I want to say. Something could not be going how you planned or maybe you're just, it's perception, is perception thing. Something here is not seeing themselves for who they truly are, how great they truly are. You know what I mean? And it, ha it seems like it has to do with like their thought process or how you're how you're seeing how you're communicating it's like you are there's so much potential here or desire like you know what you want but there's there's something not clicking here and it could be in regards to the vision but whatever you're walking away from is is because you're not satisfied with it you know it's a cycle that keeps repeating and not I, mm, it's a change that you've been wanting to make or being guided to make, but it's it's not happening, so you're walking away. And it's almost like you know what you want to make could be tied up to why you're walking away from something that's creating unhappiness. And whenever this happens, there's an energy of like really embracing yourself or a another right there's love here that just feels feels like that happiness it feels like tapping into that potential for what life could be when you see yourself for who you are when you choose yourself um, and love yourself you know it's like you found the key or the answer to what maybe felt distant before love and light Flowers, yeah, giving yourself your flowers, <laughs> practicing giving yourself some love. Uh, with flowers, working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose. And your purpose is to bring divine healing and love to this world. Taurus, it all starts with us, right? The self. Uh, but now, regardless, there's so much love here for you. And look at these flowers. Look at these flowers, Taurus. So you could be giving someone flowers yourself. Not really the important part because the important part is that you chose you. I'm saying you're not happy, so you're leaving. Whatever that is. Power move right there. You know your potential. And something's changing in your perception because I see you're giving it. You're giving it to you first, right? You're focused on your happiness, your future, what you really want in life, you know? And it's like you're taking steps or making movement towards the things that you truly want or that make your heart feel at home. Um, so I see you tapping into this potential. Untapped potential is being tapped. Taurus, what else? Universe, what do you got for Taurus? Two of Cups. The Empress. And the King of Wands, Six of Cups, Taurus. We got love here. We got something like literally soulmate energy showing up. Someone that feels like home. Someone you could feel like you could be you with. Um, or just you nurturing some inner child aspect, right, of self. With the Empress, King of Wands, and the Two of Cups. Your alignment with self is attracting like a soulmate, like a, someone that is a reflection of you, somebody that, I don't know, you manifested this through your confidence, your, your radiating confidence, charisma, attractiveness, great leader, very creative, feeling inspired maybe, right? The Empress is a very creative energy as well. The energy of abundance, the divine feminine, Taurus energy. But yeah, there's a love here or a soulmate here that you maybe have your eyes on or don't, or it could all just be you manifesting literally the life of your desires because you saw what what could, you saw what you didn't see before. You're seeing what you didn't see before. And it was truly how amazing you are, how uh, 
successful, how in the spotlight you're supposed to be. You saw you for you, but it wasn't being seen before. So you walked away from whatever you had to, I assume, and just started tapping in. You started tapping in with the vision that you wanted, the vision that was yours, emphasis on the one that you wanted, giving you the love that you needed, right? And it attracts it, it attracts something of a similar vibration and frequency. Look, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, and <laughs> the High Priestess. Taurus, you're tapped in with the spiritual, your spiritual, your gifts. Um, there could be a friendship. There could be a love connection. I don't know. It, this is someone taking steps towards sincere steps from their heart towards you or vice versa, you know? There's an energy of apology, an opportunity, an energy of vulnerability, you know? And the Ace of Wands, something here that is just sparking that flame to us. Sparking that flame, that aha moment of like, oh, I remember who I am. Hold up. <laughs> let me let me tap back in. You know what I mean? So you could have been feeling off, but now you're feeling back on. Let go of something. You are the author and creator of your story, Taurus. Using your manifesting abilities to attract blessings, love, and anything else you want. I hope you resonated. And if you would like to follow me on social media or book a personal, links will be in the description box below or my about tab. Um, spiritual teacher. Could be looking for a mentor. Could be a teacher yourself, a guide yourself, right? Helper of some sorts, but bye.